Shalom. All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, whom you ignorantly call God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, to the elect, and to you all I say Shalom. Okay, um, I'm about to play this video, right? And um, a brother sent it in the chat this morning, and this shit is just off, bro. <laughs> Completely off. And, you know, this is funny because, uh, well, it's not funny at all. This is not a laughing matter. So I want, I want to get that out in the air before I say anything. You know, sometimes um, I'm not going to say I make light of things, but, you know, I, I, I laugh and joke at uh, the, the wickedness that's going on in this place because shit, man. You know, I told somebody yesterday, all of the prophets of old were upset at the state of the nation. You know, when you think about all of the things that the prophets did and you think about these stories and that's written in this Bible, that's written in this book, the prophets were upset. The prophets had a problem with what was going on in the, the whole world and within their nation. OK, and that's why they ask us, oh, why you look so mean? What are you guys mad about? The scriptures say wisdom shall meet thee in every thought, man. So when we see something that's off, wisdom tells us that it's incorrect through the spirit. OK, and so my point was making joke, making light of this, because I recent this is even recently I said, if uh, if women are a part of the one hundred forty four thousand, why don't you see any all women camps or why don't you see women out here teaching It's because it's not right through the spirit. And then, of course, the puffed up woman, the nigga woman, man, you I see this video. You know, so let, let me play this. It's only 38 seconds long, so I'm going to play it, then I'm going to get some scriptures. We are at the end times. You can turn your television on. You can look at Facebook. You can look at Instagram. And what do we see? Viruses, plagues, wars. It is time to wake up. The most high is not playing, but near soul. Judgment is being cast all around the world. This woman is through, man. Okay? With her fucking baby jacket fringes on. You know? And see, this is why the, the why we need your house shy, man. OK, because this is completely out of order. OK, and I'm going to get on this nigga in a minute, too. But let me let me deal with this woman first. This is first Corinthians 14 and 34. I'm actually I'm going to start at uh, 32. It says, and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. OK, so a prophet, the ones who say and see before are the ones supposed to be on the highways and byways. All right. Hey, and that even goes for uh all of you, you men out here that think you're prophets and you're not, man. All right. You're just doing out there. You're going out there and you're teaching because the fear of the Lord jumped on you. But that does not mean that you're a prophet of the Lord, man. You you puffed up in your own pride to just want to be on the main stage to want to uh, win a popularity contest. And you're not really a prophet. OK, the Lord speaks about the false prophets and those that um that did so in his name that he had not called. OK, so this, there are no women prophets. And that's another reason why she probably out there. She probably think of fucking Deborah or Deborah, as some brothers like to call her, you know, think of some of the women in the scriptures and think, oh, yeah, there's women prophetesses, which isn't true, man. The word prophetess goes back to being a wife of a prophet. And then in that case, any women that would you uh, did perceive as prophets of you realize most of the time in the story, it explained that uh, she either sought counsel of men or it would say the wife of such and such. OK, so if why would why would that matter if you could be a straight up prophetess without the consult of a man? Why would it say things like that? OK, but going on. It says um, ver verse 33 for Yahweh is not the author of confusion. This is confusion, man. 
All right. We're out here telling people that uh, men, you need to tighten up and get yourselves together. Women, you need to be in the house taking care of the children. All right. And we trying to maintain order. This is creating confusion. You you, you would have now. What if you got women out here thinking that this is the right way to go? And now, now look. What if uh, uh, cops come and arrest her ass? Now what? Everybody going to fucking cry out, right? Or if uh, she fucking... The dudes be about to fight us on the street, man. Somebody come molly whop her ass. Then what? Oh, because she's a woman. She got hit. Her ass shouldn't have been out there in the first place, man. Okay? This is a... And see, I, I'm real talk. I did a video on these women, what, like two weeks ago about them running naked in the streets, man. I'm not... I hate doing women, uh, videos on you women, man. I, I it, it drives me crazy. All right, because at the end of the day, we understand that you just don't get it, man. Well, most of you. Hey, like I always say, if the shoe fits, wear it, man. All right, but you women out here, you 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 woman, well, whoever you are, you are completely out of order. Okay, and you talking about the Lord is bringing judgment. He's gonna bring judgment on you because this is not what you're supposed to be doing. And through the spirit, she's going to not. She might not hear this video, but she's going to get rebuked for this, and she's going to hear it. And so then, if she doesn't humble down, hey, the Lord is going to judge you. What like just like you said, the Lord is bringing judgment all over the earth, and it's going to come upon you if you don't take heed and hearken. Okay, and see, I'm just mainly going to get these com these uh, comments. I mean, these scriptures that are on the comment board, but I might get a couple more. I mean, not the comment board, the uh, that you see in the title. It says, "For the the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all ch as in all churches of the saints." All right. So, of this, the, what, the word church, all right, goes back to uh, ecclesias, if I'm not mistaken, um, and it means uh, an assembly or a congregation or a calling out. Okay, and so this is a church. But this is a, this. You might as well build a building around you because you're just like a a Christian church where the women are in there teaching. Okay, this is a uh, a church of the saints. This ain't no church of the saints, man. This is off. Okay, now this is the point. Let your women keep silence in the churches. All right, and so when we get women that approach the church and we tell them, you know, what I'm saying we might let them ask a couple questions if they sincere. But for the most part, we ask them, where's their man? Where's your husband? Because you aren't supposed to be speaking in the church. And that's just order because a woman. Matter of fact, let me get that. It's reasons that the Lord set that up for a certain reason. You know, but you women, of course, you like, hey, man, I'm a, I wonder what was the conversation that she had when this went down. Hey, yo, I want to get out on the highways and byways. Maybe I can reach the women. Maybe I can, you know, maybe the men will follow after a woman. It's that woman worship, man. You've been in Babylon too long. Your mind is plagued. This is Job 39 and 17. Because Yahweh, the Most High, hath deprived her of wisdom, <laughs> neither has he imparted to her understanding. So she don't even understand that she's not supposed to be out there. She don't understand this Bible. Even if she can get uh, the precepts, even if she understands that she's an Israelite, which is great. You know, of course, we're out here to edify our women to understand that they're Israelites, but you, we're out there to under, get Israel to understand their purposes. OK. It says Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, it is the whole duty of man to fear the most high and keep his commandments. And this is one of his commandments in first Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them. Permit it. The word permitted means permissible, means uh, to allow. You are forbidden. OK, it says for it is not permitted unto them to speak. All right. So the Lord says it's not allowed for you to speak. You are forbidden to speak in the church. This is a commandment that you are not supposed to do as a woman. And you are blatantly. And I know she knows the scripture. I know she's heard it, man. She's sitting out there on her phone. She's about to probably break up, break down some scriptures. All right. I know she's heard this verse. But see, that's why we say you got to eat the whole roll. Well, you know, I was talking to a brother the other day. And a brother said, hey, man, uh, I don't agree with what you said. But if it's in the Bible, I can't deny it. I got to go with that. And I say, yeah, you're right, brother. And that's a humble spirit you got. Because, uh, when I first came into the truth, I heard things that I didn't want to agree with, you know, 
I heard things. I'm like, nah, man. You know, uh, what you mean? I can't smoke weed. I can. It's from the earth. I can smoke weed and read my Bible at the same time. What you mean, Edomite's not going to make it? You know, I have my contentions with uh, with the the things that are in the Bible. But the thing is, it says we got to become a new man, man, and we got to put off the old creature. All right, and we got to come in these things as babes. So everything you thought you knew, you got to cast it away to learn anew. OK, so just because you got the spirit of, oh, I want to do what I want to do, that Aleister Crawley spirit, do us that. Well, it don't work like that when you come back to your how about Shimei Al-Shai. That's the ways of Esau. The ways of the Heavenly Father is order. OK. Now, let me finish up on this. Uh, First Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. All right. You're commanded to be under obedience, man. That goes back to the law, man. You're commanded to be at home. You're commanded to take care of the children. You're commanded to take care of the household. All right. She thinks she out there with uh, her baby friend, her baby blue jean jacket fringes on and her head wrapped that she's all right. This is going off, man. It says, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. All right. He said, if you so, if this is your husband right here and he's even I pray that this is not your husband because <laughs> if that's your husband right there, he's a simp, man. He's a beta. He's a he's a weak ass man. And you out there, you standing and you let your woman sit out there and teach and your arms sitting there folded. You know, and you think you got it. Yeah, let her speak. You look like a weak ass man, bro. Tell her to go take her ass home, man. You know, if she want to listen, if she want to learn, ask you when she go home. And whoever her husband is, man, you know, she, either she, she, this woman probably ain't got no man. Let's keep it 100, man. Because <laughs> shit, man, the way she, she just completely high, out of her order. E even a woman, even a man in the world would say, nah, I don't want you going out there. <laughs> you know, we this is a battlefield, man. We don't and see this is how you you know the state of a nation by the the um the state of its women as well, man. And the state of its men, but the state of its women because we don't send our women to war. All right? When you read tell me <laughs> tell me when you heard any of the uh battles of uh Gideon or the battles of David, you know, King David. Tell me when you heard any of those battles, did they say and the women came? We ain't Esau. We don't send our women to war. We Our women stay at home, man. All right? It says the woman is the glory of the man. We ain't let, letting our glory get out there and get, getting in fights. Getting arrested, getting beat up, getting shouted at. It says, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in, in a church, man. What's that? Jeremiah 6 and 15, man. Have you no shame, man? You ain't got no shame. This is crazy, man. Hey, the, you know, uh, let me, I got to get these next two verses. You know, I, matter of fact, I'm going to read all the way down to 40 because it's all edifying for this video. It says, uh, and matter of fact, I'm going to play it one more time just so brothers can see it again. Oops. We are at the end times. You can turn your television on. You can look at Facebook. You can look at Instagram. And what do we see? Viruses, plagues, wars. It is time to wake up. The most high is not playing, but near so. Judgment is being cast around the world see and she thinks she got out there neck rolling got her earrings and shit you know doing all that excessive if, and this is another reason you can't be emotional when you coming out there all right because uh, let, let somebody say something wrong to her she gonna get get all in her feelings for real like you know yeah we get passionate we get zealous you know, but nonetheless, we we still know how to control ourselves. Like, man, who knows what she might do? She might want to take off her earrings and shit and get ready to... She just... She in the wrong spirit, bro. All right? And let me let me go on. It says, what? Oh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 36. What? Came the, the word of the Most High out from you? 
or came it unto you only? You know, these are how women think. Women be like, well, the Lord deal with me directly. You know, the Lord, he, he, he sent me a vision, told me I need to go out into the highways and the byways. You know, that's why the scriptures say dreams lift up fools, man. So if you had any kind of vision or dream that was, you know, uh, Satan temp, temp, uh, messing with your mind, man. Verse 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. So this goes to, for women, too. If you think yourself to be a prophet or spiritual, you got to acknowledge the things that he wrote unto because those are the commandments of the Lord. And one of those commandments that women are is a shame for women to speak in a church. And you're supposed to be at home learning from your husband. So you're making a shame of yourself and you're disrespecting the heavenly father and his men and the commandments of the Lord all in one shoot. One one run, man. It says, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant still. So let me get you an ignorant man. This nigga right here. And I'm not only want to say ignorant because ignorant means not knowing. This man knows. Look at his face. This man knows women ain't supposed to be out there. And if this is his woman, he like, hey, all right, baby. You know, he, he is simp because she persuaded him to let her go out there. You know, there's something I really want to do. Me and you, we can go by ourselves. We don't need everybody else. We can start our own church. You know? It says, uh, uh let me get that. You know, the, the, the men, this is why our men need to get in order, too, because our men do anything for these women, man. Do anything for these women and, and just make yourself look. Now you're making yourself look weak. You make yourself look worse than anything, bro. Why? Why? <laughs> hey, and this don't necessarily apply to Jake, but why trim is that way to seek love, man? <laughs> you want to seek love from this woman? All right. You probably like her. You trying to whatever it whatever is going on between them, man. It's it's off. It's not right through the spirit and power. Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. I'm trying to find a scripture. So Salakia, bear with me for one second. We we desperately need salvation, man. You know, and and any anybody that's in the right mind can see that, man. This is a. Uh, I was right here too. It's crazy. First Ezra four. I'm gonna start at twenty five. It says, "Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother." So that's why, if this is his wife, that's why y'all there because he think I love her, man. I'm willing to do whatever she want me to do. I'm willing to serve her. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. You know, and if it's not your wife, you even worse for being out there with another man's wife preaching. Okay. It says, yay, because when you keeping women in your company, when you keeping women in your company, that uh, it says sitting out at all with another man's wife, you know. So if, if you going out there, y'all going to camp together, y'all getting clean because, look, you know, through the spirit, brothers get closer and more bonded when we preach. OK, so we know preaching is for edification of the body, but brothers get more bonded together. You know, when you when you, uh, it says when you read about King David and Jonathan, it said his love for Jonathan surpassed the love of a woman. That's because that's not a homosexual thought. That's because our brotherhood is getting tighter and closer. All right. So if you out there with this woman by yourself, man, y'all getting tighter and closer, you know, thinking y'all went to war together. What you think going to happen, man? Hey, yo, his, if, if that's not your wife. Hey, yo, I got to call the brother. You know, I got to we got to we got to handle business this week. Then y'all fellowship afterwards, y'all drinking wine. What you think going to happen, man? It's going to be adultery. And so if it is your wife, you need to tighten up and tell her to go home. If it's not your wife, brother, you you way, way off, man. All right. First, uh, Edges four and twenty six. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Hey, man, you became a, you ran out of your witch for this woman, man. And you became a servant because now you serving her, you know, because what, what, what do the word minister means? The Lord says minister. All right. Minister means to serve. OK, and we minister to each other, to the brothers. We serve each other. But now you're serving a woman and you're 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 through, man. You're the mum. A thumb the mum. Both of y'all through, man. It says, uh, many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. Okay. 
and both of y'all right now are sinning, okay? Because what's sin? According to 1 John 3 and 4, it says sin is the transgression of the law. And a part of the law is that women are not supposed to be teaching. They're supposed to be quiet in the church. Okay, let me jump back to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 14 and 39, it says, Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. And let all things be done decently and in order. This is out of orderly, out of order, and this is indecent, according to the scriptures. Okay, and you will if you don't tighten up. If if you hear, okay, let let's let's assume that you haven't heard the prophets. Okay, let's let's play the like they say the devil's advocate or the uh, whatever they like to call it. Let's assume that you haven't heard that women are supposed to be at home. When I know you have, but let's say let's assume you haven't. Let's assume that you haven't heard that. Uh, women are supposed to be teaching. Let's assume that you don't know about order. Okay. When it comes to pass that you hear this, and I'm not talking about my video, when it comes to pass that somebody tells you, because it's going to get there, that somebody tells you that this is what y'all did is out of order and that the Lord is going to judge you for it if y'all don't stop this wicked folliness, this wicked folly right now, you're going to be judged. Don't be surprised when it do if y'all don't take heed. Okay? And I'm not even going to get Isaiah 32, but rise up ye women that are at ease, man. Period. This is uh this is 1 Timothy 2 and 11. It says, "Let all let the women learn in silence with all subjection." Okay? To be subject to, to be under but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp the authority over the man, but to be in silence. This is usurping authority over this man because he's over there quiet like a woman. All right. He's silent and she's usurping authority. Over, but I suffer not, man. That means I don't have the patience. Because this is this is ill will, man. You, you might get smited down for this off top, man. It says, uh, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Okay, so the woman was in it just like right now. All right, you're in a transgression. And you're probably being deceived by this woman. This is Sirach um, 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Hey, brother, you out there dying right now. You can see, your, 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 look at you, man. You perishing right there, man. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. And it's happening all over again with this wickedness. Anybody that come up and listen, they dying too because they're not hearing out of the words. Of, the, the mouthpieces of the most high are the prophets. And y neither one of y'all are one of them because ain't no prophet going to sit up with a woman letting her teach and a, and a woman ain't going to be out there teaching herself, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to get this last verse and then I'm going to wrap it up. I don't want to make this too long because brothers already know that this shit is off. We didn't, I didn't even have to speak on this this long. This is Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better is it to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Okay. So it says pride going before destruction, man. So this is pride, a prideful act that y'all doing. And then y'all have haughty spirits on y'all, man. So pray to, hey, if y'all are sincere, which I, I doubt y'all not, but unless you repent, hey, you better repent and stop doing this nonsense before the Lord destroy you. With that, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to you. How will by some y'all shy by some Rakhakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Shalom.